The Three Little Golden Retrievers, written by Donna M. Shear, read by Lee Roberts. Once upon a time, there was a mother dog who had three little golden retriever puppies named Ginger, Maggie, and Duke. The three little puppies grew up so fast there was barely any room in the family doghouse, so with no other choice, their mother said, it is time you go off and build your own dog houses. But beware, so that big bad dog catcher don't catch you. The mother dog kissed each one of her dog children goodbye and sent them out into the world. As the three brave little golden retriever puppies set out to begin a new life on their own, we will be careful so that old dog catcher don't catch us, they said. As they were walking down the road, they came across a farmer carrying some straw. Will you please give me some of your nice straw? I want to build my very own dog house, said Duke. Yes, said the farmer, and he gave Duke enough straw to build his very own dog house. Duke was pleased with the farmer and wagged his tail to give thanks. Then Maggie and Ginger helped Duke build himself a dog house made of straw. He was very, very pleased with his new dog house. He said, Now the big bad dog catch you won't get me. Maggie and Ginger didn't think Duke's dog house was strong enough. Maggie said determined, I will build a stronger dog house than Duke's. Ginger said determined, I will build a stronger house than Duke's too. As Maggie and Ginger walked further down the road, they came upon another farmer carrying a large load of sticks. Will you please give me some sticks? I want to build my very own dog house, asked Maggie. Yes, said the farmer, and he gave Maggie enough sticks to build her very own dog house. Maggie was pleased with the farmer and wagged her tail to give thanks. Ginger then helped Maggie build her very own dog house. It was stronger than Duke's dog house made of straw. Maggie was very pleased with her new dog house. She said, Now the big bad dog catcher won't get me. Ginger said, Maggie's dog house is nice, but I will build a stronger dog house than Maggie's. As Ginger proceeded to walk down the dirt road alone, she soon ran into a farmer carrying a load of bricks. Ginger smiled and began wagging her long, fluffy tail. Will you please give me some bricks? I want to build my very own dog house, asked Ginger. Yes, said the farmer, and he gave Ginger enough bricks to build her very own dog house. Ginger was very pleased with the farmer and wagged her tail to give thanks. All alone, Ginger built herself a doghouse out of bricks. It took her all day and most of the night, but her doghouse was very, very strong, much stronger than Maggie or Duke's doghouses. Ginger said, Now the big bad dog catcher won't get me. The very next day, the dog catcher drove down the country road in his white van. He came upon the doghouse made of straw. When Duke saw the dog catcher coming, he ran inside his house and locked the door. The dog catcher knocked and said, Let me in or I will huff and puff and blow your doghouse in. No, said Duke, I will not let you in. The dog catcher said, Then you leave me no choice. I will huff and puff and blow your doghouse in. It was then the dog catcher took a deep breath, huffed and puffed, and blew the straw dog house in. As the straw dog house fell to the ground, Duke ran down the dirt road to Maggie's dog house. That same afternoon, the dog catcher drove his van further down the dirt country road. He then came upon the dog house made of sticks. When Maggie saw the dog catcher coming, she called out to Duke, and they ran inside her stick dog house and locked the door. The dog catcher knocked and said, 
Let me in, or I will huff and puff and blow your doghouse in. No, said Maggie, I will not let you in. The dog catcher said, Then you leave me no choice. I will huff and puff and blow your doghouse in. It was then the dog catcher took a deep breath, huffed and puffed, and blew the stick doghouse in. As the doghouse fell to the ground, Maggie and Duke ran further down the dirt road to their sister Ginger's doghouse. Later that same afternoon, the dog catcher came upon the doghouse made of bricks. When Ginger, Maggie, and Duke saw the dog catcher coming, they ran inside the brick doghouse and locked the door. They felt safe knowing the doghouse was made of bricks. The dog catcher knocked and said, Let me in, or I will huff and puff and blow your house in. Ginger refused to open the door, so it was then the dog catcher took a deep breath, huffed and puffed, and tried to blow the brick dog house in. But no matter how hard he tried, he couldn't blow the brick dog house in. Again, the dog catcher knocked on the door and asked to come in. And again, Ginger refused to let him in. Again, the dog catcher tried to blow down the brick dog house, and again he failed. The dog catcher quickly became tired from exhaustion. Angered, the dog catcher went to his van. He got a ladder from the back of the van. The dog catcher said, let me in, or I'm going to climb in your window and get you. Ginger thought fast, and as the dog catcher placed the ladder against the window, Ginger placed a large safety pin under the window. The dog catcher then climbed up the ladder. He slowly tried to make his way through the window. He easily slid through the window. The dog catcher laughed as he slid through the window, thinking he had won, and was taking the three little golden retrievers to the dog pound. But as his feet hit the floor, he landed on the pin Ginger placed under the window. In pain, the dog catcher let out a loud, Ouch! It was then the dog catcher knew Ginger was just too smart for him. The dog catcher then promised he'd never bother the three little golden retrievers again. Maggie, Ginger, and Duke lived happily ever after. The End